Let's start with basic technique of treating small endometriosis, simple endometriosis. There's a tendency of burning these lesions. Doctor sees it, looks at it through simple laparoscopy, he burns it. It's the simplest way to do it. It's the easiest way, yet it's the worst way to treat the disease. Why is it worse? Why is burning very bad? What burning does is basically you accelerate the pathology of endometriosis that really makes pain by burning. How do you do that? How does doctor with wrong technique can contribute to the lesion become more painful? Because endometriosis actually causes pain because of scarring. Scarring pulls the tissue. It increases smooth lining of the peritoneum cavity which the bowels swim in. It makes it hard and thick. That's what scarring does. When you burn it, you make it more tense, more scarred. And when you burn it, you also don't see what's being underneath that. So basically you bury that. I have learned through years of experience these are the most difficult cases you may be challenged when you deal with the previously burned patient. So burning is not right. Secondly, the endometriosis that's involving the ovary. Controversy is these endometriomas are, are potentially one of the worst endometriosis format because endometrioma is, a, is like a second menstrual cavity. In other words, when women have periods, one period comes from regular uterus, it flows through the vagina, that's what they see. The other period, if you have endometrioma, is the period that occurs inside, flows inside the peritoneal cavity. That never, that blood never comes out. It accumulates and the ovary smells, swells. Some doctors, unfortunately, this is so important. They just drain this, maybe remove a little part of the ovary. They burn around the ovary. I think this is also unacceptable treatment. You need to, one needs to strip the capsule of this cavity, endometrioma, and probably reconstruct and maybe suspend the ovary so ovary doesn't fall into the same hole and get stuck and cause pain and also reconstructed so it doesn't have any uh, adhesions uh, of bowel coming there. And thirdly, let me address about hysterectomy. Many women who have hysterectomy are with endometriosis are having hysterectomy for unnecessary reasons because there are 600,000 hysterectomies done, maybe probably more in the United States right now. This number hasn't really changed. One third of it's done is for endometriosis or and pelvic pain. What happens with hysterectomy is if there is adenomyosis, if the endometriosis is involving the uterus, I think it's a very indicated procedure. There's nothing else to be done for those women if adenomyosis is attacking the whole uterus. However, if there is cul de sac disease, giving these women hysterectomy will not help at all to their pain. They will come back for painful, painful intercourse or other sort of pain in their pelvis. One has to tr treat the deep cul de sac disease with deep resection and wide excision of the anterior rectum and, uh, and rectovaginal septum. This is, this is the surgery that belongs really to masters, to very experienced, skillful surgeons. And it is the technique that also needs to be taught to residents, to other doctors.